How do you know if you need iodine? In today's video, I'll talk about iodine, what it is, the main causes, and the common signs of iodine deficiency. I'll also share some of my favorite foods to improve iodine levels. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jessica and I'm an integrative health practitioner and health coach. Every week I post videos on weight loss, hormone balancing, and how to feel fabulous. Make sure to click that subscribe button down below. So what is iodine? Iodine is an essential mineral in the ocean. Through an initiative in the 20s, iodine was added to salts to help combat goiters. This is an enlargement of the thyroid gland. That initiative helped to slow down the rates of goiters. However, goiters are a sign of extreme iodine deficiency. You could still have iodine deficiency without a goiter. The challenge is that we aren't getting enough bioavailable iodine in our foods. Only about 10% of iodine from salt, for instance, is absorbed. Current RDA for iodine for adults is 150 micrograms per day and about 220 to 290 micrograms per day if you're pregnant or lactating. However, the assumption here is that all of what you eat is absorbed. There has been increasing concern over iodine deficiency in the US and worldwide. According to the CDC report from 1998, the amount of urinary iodine measured dropped by almost half between 1970 and 1980. Iodine deficiency is estimated to affect 1.88 billion people worldwide. Europe has one of the highest rates of iodine deficiency. The main causes for iodine deficiency are not eating enough ocean foods like shellfish and fish and sea kelp, not eating animal foods such as organ meats or eggs, depleted soils, selenium deficiency, radiation, specifically radioactive iodine from nuclear power plant waste. This form takes up iodine receptor, receptor space on the thyroid and then goitrogenic foods. These can bind to iodine to lock it up and these include cassava, soy, corn, canola, cruciferous veggies can do this as well. However, steaming or cooking broccoli cauliflower, etc., can help reduce these binding properties. Peanuts in really large amounts and even millet and rice in large amounts can have a goitrogenic effect. Bromine, fluoride, and chlorine, they all bind to receptor sites as well on the thyroid, and that makes iodine unavailable to the thyroid gland. Along those lines are brominated flame retardants. Perchlorate, this inhibits iodine uptake by the thyroid. Oral contraceptives can reduce iodine uptake by the thyroid gland for some. Smoking, there's a chemical thiocyanate in tobacco smoke that can compete with iodine for receptor sites on the thyroid as well. So, what are the signs of iodine deficiency? Well, the biggest sign is a goiter. This is the result from extreme iodine deficiency. Other symptoms can include hair loss, loss of cognitive function. Iodine deficiency can actually cause a drop in IQ and infertility. Hearing loss, that could be related to iodine deficiency. Fibrocystic breasts and ovaries, dry skin, feeling cold slow heart rate, fatigue, sudden waking, irregular or heavy periods and cramps. Let me know down in the comments if you have any of these symptoms. There are a couple of ways to check for iodine deficiency. You could test it at home by taking iodine and, and a cotton swab or a ball and make a two inch diameter mark with the iodine on your leg or inside of your arm. It'll stain your skin. If in one hour it's gone, that can be a sign you're iodine deficient. Of course, you could always ask your doctor for a urine test to check for iodine levels as well. 
Some great sources of iodine include anything from the ocean, like shellfish, sea kelp, fish, organ meats and meats and egg yolks are also great sources of iodine. I love chatting with you all in the comments section below. So even if you just want to say hello, I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in learning more about your thyroid, check out this video here. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye.